Love marriage and family. God's blueprint for healthy relationships. God wants you to live a happy, fulfilled life. God's heart is moved by the desire for our welfare. His divine purposes penetrates our homes, families, and romantic relationships in addition to personal fulfillment. God provides blueprints for pursuing true happiness that, when accepted, will turn his design into a reality. Rather than being far off or unreachable, his plans are a guide to help us live the abundant, joyful lives he has planned for each of us. Let us discover the divine wisdom that forms wholesome relationships, building families and homes that honor the harmonic blueprint that God has offered with such love. As God's children, you use your relationships as an opportunity to show him in the holy bonds of marriage and family, reflecting his love and purpose. You have the chance to both give and receive God's love via them. This implies that we have to change if we want to be in relationships that are motivated by love and purpose. The good news is that Romans 5.5 informs us that we already possess that love. Now hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. It signifies that both I and you are capable of giving love, which is why I love this text to reflect the heavenly love that God lavishes upon us. You and I must allow the things that the Holy Spirit placed in our hearts to find expression. Four distinct types of love are identified in Greek. Agape, philia, eros, and storge. Each of them beautifully describes a different sort of love, and knowing about them can help us make our relationships better. Because the other types depend on our emotions, agape is the term that best captures God's love among these. For this reason, the deed that Jesus performed, which is described in John 3.16 as the love of God for the world, proves that God's love is more than an emotion. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God's love does not rest on emotions to act, and we are charged to love this way. But God demonstrates his own love toward us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5 verse 8 Death is only a means of passing from this life to another, of course but no one could have died the way Jesus did if they had to rely on their feelings before acting. But glory to God! Jesus resurrected and he is alive today. Amen! The details of God's love is transformative and amazing. It helps us to build healthy relationships. Your relationships with other people change dramatically when you recognize and accept this heavenly love. My dear friend, God is a God of purpose. As much as God wants you and me to enjoy all he has made, according 1 Timothy 6 verse 17, teach those who are rich in this world not to be proud and not to trust in their money, which is so unreliable. Their trust should be in God, who richly gives us all we need for our enjoyment. God nonetheless desires that your enjoyment be contained within the boundaries of his plan. God created marriage for a reason. Matrimony is not a human institution. It is a divine covenant, carefully crafted to reflect the deep bond between Christ and the Church. God intended for marriage to show his nature and, more crucially, his purpose, just as he intended for plants to grow fruit in order to reveal a certain aspect of himself. God adores collaboration. Even if he is capable of doing everything on his own, he would not, which is why he underlines to his children the importance of abiding by the law of interdependency. Deuteronomy 32 verse 30 says, How could one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight? It is necessary to first understand entering this institution of God as entering God's purpose. Understanding God's love and purpose will cause you to see it in all of your relationships, especially your marriage, which will then serve as a testament to God's unfailing love. 
In God's blueprints, there are patterns and core values he lays out for us that helps us cultivate our relationships. These core values are foundations for a good relationship and, in effect, a godly marriage. These core values are respect, open communication, sacrificial love, and mutual support. They are the integral components of God's blueprint for a thriving marriage. Matthew 7 verse 12 says, Do to others whatever you would like them to do to you. This is the essence of all that is taught in the law and the prophets. This is mutual respect. Ephesians 5 verse 28 and 29 in the same way, husbands ought to love their wives as they love their own bodies. For a man who loves his wife actually shows love for himself. No one hates his own body but feeds and cares for it, just as Christ cares for the church. These qualities foster an environment where his love can flourish. Love that is not expressed is not useful. Proverbs chapter 27 verse 5 says, An open rebuke is better than hidden love. An essential element of a Christian marriage is communication. In order to find a solution and move the marriage forward, spouses need to be open to confrontations without feeling disliked by the other, and the one who confronts must make sure that it is done in a graceful manner. It is important for spouses to feel comfortable expressing themselves to one another. Being in a relationship where communication is highly appreciated and not viewed as a way to undermine the other person is a lovely thing. And, of course, there must be sacrificial giving and loving. These viewpoints are not widely held worldwide. The general consensus is, go for it if you feel like it. However, a lot of people have ended up in marriages that were worse for them than when they started. But thanks to God for his goodness in having a rescue plan in whatever anyone may be in right now. The world did not invent the family unit or marriage, so it has no right to tell you how to use the things that God has established. Numerous anti-kingdom viewpoints exist about family and marriage, courtship, dispute, resolution, and other topics. However, you have to realize that these viewpoints are motivated by self-promotion, which runs counter to the fundamental ideal of marriage, which is selflessness. The world teaches you to focus on you, but the word instructs you to set aside your old man and place your attention on Jesus, looking up to Jesus to understand who he is. The Bible is full of wisdom that elevates you above the weird ideas and advice of this world. The way the world perceives families does not align with God's perfect purpose. The world views the family as a social construct while God views families as sacred units where love, faith, and morals are fostered and passed down through the generations. I admonish you to cherish family holiness as God intended. A solidly faith-based family is a base of love, resilience, and a potent symbol of God's transforming power. Faith plays a pivotal role in building a strong family. Whatever beliefs the couple started out with will likely influence the children's beliefs as well, until they reach a time when they must make their own decisions about what to believe, and whether or not what they have learned is worth living for. But they just shall live by his faith, according to Habakkuk 2 4. Since our beliefs are what guide us in life, it is crucial to have strong beliefs if we want to live glorious lives. It takes more than age, feeling old enough, or parental pressure because of grandkids to start or grow a family. Building your faith is essential for you, your kids, and the family you are creating. I give you this command. Let your faith be the anchor that forms and maintains your relationships. As you navigate the complexities of relationships, remember that God's blueprint is a guide for every season. Embrace his divine design, and you'll experience the joy, fulfillment, and lasting impact he intended for your relationships. Allow his wisdom to shape the course of your journey in love, marriage, and family.
As you consider the deep realizations that come with creating a successful marriage, home and relationship, know that it is not only feasible but also part of God's perfect plan. He possesses a dependable and powerful method to lead you in your relationships towards happiness, contentment and enduring love. Never allow yourself to be afraid of adopting the behavioral patterns of anyone in your family. Don't let the enemy make you feel like you will end up like anyone, trailing a negative path. God has a specific plan for each person, and he has created each one uniquely. You can rely on his plan to guide you to a position of happiness, harmony, and direction in your relationships and home. I want you to accept the knowledge that God's grace Wisdom and love are more than enough to help you deal with the complexities of marriage, family, and love. You start a path where his heavenly guidance makes your relationships a mirror of his unwavering love and purpose as soon as you firmly plant your trust in him. Pray, pray this simple prayer. Say, Heavenly Father, guide us in applying your blueprint to our relationships. May love, marriage, and family be a reflection of your divine design, bringing glory to your name. Amen. If you have been blessed by this message, please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You are blessed.